Good morning, friends. Sorry. Good evening, friends. And welcome to night prayer. Saturday, the third week in the season of Lent. I'm really hoping that the font running in the background isn't coming over too loud. I made the mistake of setting this all up and not thinking about the proximity to it. So I hope you are able to all hear me just fine. Let's take a moment to quiet ourselves as we begin this celebration. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us take a moment now to acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves for this celebration. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Jesus, refuge of the weary, blessed Redeemer whom we love, fountain of life's desert dreary, Savior, from the world above. Often have your eyes offended gazed upon the sinner's fall, yet upon the cross extended you have borne the pain of all. Do we pass that cross unheeded, breathing no repentant vow? Though we see you wounded, bleeding, see your thorn encircled brow? Yet your sinless death has brought us life eternal, peace, and rest. Only what your grace has taught us calms the sinner's deep distress. Jesus, may our hearts be burning with more fervent love for you. May our eyes be ever turning to behold your cross anew, till in glory parted never from the blessed Savior's side, graven in our hearts forever, well, the cross, the crucified. Have mercy, Lord, and hear my prayer. When I call, answer me, O God of justice. From anguish you released me. Have mercy and hear me. O men, how long will your hearts be closed? Will your love, will you love what is futile and seek what is false? It is the Lord who grants favors to those whom he loves. The Lord hears me whenever I call him. Fear him, do not sin. Ponder on your bed and be still. Make justice your sacrifice and trust in the Lord. What can bring us happiness, many say? Let the light of your face shine on us, O Lord. You have put into my heart a greater joy than they have from abundance of corn and new wine. I will lie down in peace and sleep comes at once. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Have mercy, Lord, and hear my prayer. In the silent hours of the night, bless the Lord. O come, bless the Lord, all you who serve the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Lift up your hands to the holy place, 
and bless the Lord through the night. May the Lord bless you from Zion, he who made both heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the silent hours of the night, bless the Lord. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Therefore, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Take to heart these words which I enjoin on you today. Drill them into your children. Speak of them at home and abroad, whether you are busy or at rest. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. You have redeemed us, Lord, God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ and asleep rest in his peace. Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep that awake we may keep watch with Christ and asleep rest in his peace. Let us pray. Lord, be with us throughout this night. When day comes, may we rise from sleep to rejoice in the resurrection of your Christ who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And may the all-powerful Lord grant us a restful night and a peaceful death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this exile, show us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Now I invite you to join with me in the prayer to the Virgin Mary for protection. Bishop Gruse has asked us to continue to pray this prayer. Um, I think I posted it, I know I posted it in the Stations of the Cross video that we did the other day. Um, I'll make sure tomorrow or um, Monday that I get posted to the Paris Facebook page. O Mary, you shine continuously on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick. At the foot of the cross, you participated in Jesus' pain with steadfast faith. You, our Lady of the Assumption, know what we need. We are certain that you will provide so that as you did at Cana of Galilee, joy and feasting might return after this moment of trial. Help us, divine mother of divine love, to conform ourselves to the Father's will and to do what Jesus tells us. He who took our sufferings upon himself and bore our sorrows 
to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. We seek refuge under your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our pleas, we who are put to the test, and deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Once again, I thank you all for joining us for night prayer as we continue to share it. Please uh, share the video, invite others to follow the um, parish Facebook page and invite them to join us in prayer. A reminder that the church will be open tomorrow for private prayer from 9 until noon and again from 6 until 8 p.m. Um, ask that we make sure that there's not ever more than uh, 10 people in the church at a time. Know that I do wipe down the door handles and light switches and bathroom faucets and everything uh, each time I lock up the church to make sure it's clean. We have um, hand sanitizer in the entrance of the church. Please utilize that. Um, be respectful of others in their prayer. And tomorrow is gonna be a hard day for a lot of folks. I encourage you to pull out your directory and uh, look at the people who sit next to you in church, those that aren't your immediate family that you're talking to all the time. Maybe flip to the back of the directory, look up their phone number and give them a call. Share in Our Father together. Reach out, especially to those um, older folks who aren't able to get out and uh, singles and widows and widowers really important that we reach out in this time to under, help them understand that we are still community. We still gather together in Christ's love, even though there's further miles and walls between us than we would care to have. I thank you all again for joining us tonight. May you have a quiet, peaceful, and restful night. God bless you all. Amen.